this is Lady Lex UK and this is Dreamscom 21. We're doing floor halls 31 to 40. Let's go. Oh, it's taking its time. Right, hall 31. out Silent Puppet when it comes out in 2022. Okay. Not the best book that one, sorry. Right, okay, next one. This looks nice. Looks like um, an adventure of some sort. I have the player character working very well in terms of movement. Absconder 0015. Stealth Luck and Prowess, a stealth action game set in a fantasy world. During its magical industrial revolution, you play as Master Thief. And I'm not even going to begin to pronounce that. Uh, using her gadgets and mystical powers to steal from the rich. Wow. It's a really nice set. Look at it. It's lovely. Very nice. Okay. Next booth. Dictatory game. It's the chill room. I think, tell you what I think about the ceiling. First EP coming soon. Okay. Again, yeah, somebody's made a booth without anything to really offer advertise for some music. Song, late night gin. Uh, LD, my Tomb Fantastic Brief, feel free to check out my profile if you want. Uh, LD Adventures, a game of cosmic proportions. It's a very empty booth, that one. Right, Chevelle's 2021 booth. I am an artist with a bizarre imagination. Out, an old school platformer. Take it inspiration from Crash Bandicoot. Right, okay. And this is the character by the look of it. Looks good. And here is a load of green boxes. What is this? I'm Sauceless One. I stream on Wednesdays and Fridays on Twitch. Sauceless One, I make weird songs like this one. accordion in the uh, in the dream of us right all 32 what is this metallic arms won the rebellion made by sam for 20 I don't even pronounce that. Nice little statue. And some music. Princess of Darkness. A turn based RPG project by Katiana. Katana 22. That anime style by the bit. Uh, T shirts for the game there. Very cool. Uh, this looks like Irish Mile. To do list. Find choir. Choir? No, chair. <laughs> It'll say, find a chair, take a nap, make dreams come booth. Oh dear. Oh dear, he didn't make a booth. That's it. That's all we get. So that might be Irish Mile's booth, but because these are freely available in the Dreamers, it could be anybody's. Around here, the grey box. Uh, Dreamscom 21, it says. Visit. Uh, 
Uh, Tiger MPL. Uh, another QR code there. Just a little chill out lounge. Streets of Madness. Woo! Fighting game. Fight the streets gangs. Beat them all. By Bohala. Streets of Madness is actually a lot of fun. Um, I recommend checking that out. That isn't the launch date, by the way. <laughs> um, they did go back in time and create dreams 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Well, where, where are we are now? That's 20 years nearly, isn't it? Okay. Um, right. What's this? Uh, Nugger 102 to reveal my new game, but it doesn't have a name yet. Oh, okay. It's a magical 3D platformer. Yeah, there we go. I think we've seen all of them in here. Right, off we go. I think it's better when you've got um, a, a, a way through, but... Uh, rather than a circle you can get turned around on these things but um they are different layouts for each of them look so we've got something in front of us here this is robot in it one welcome to the mr robot in it one dreams come booth um we can jump up here oh yes Nice. Okay. So last year they featured the colony. What are they featured in this year? Asset packs. The Dream Guild. Outer space. Hi, this is the developer. Um, yeah. So hopefully you enjoy the game. I spent a oh, I spent a long while making it. The development story for this game is crazy enough to be its own entire scene. Um, yeah. Hope you. Okay. Um, so that's from Ditumotonic Games. Just about to see that on the top of the booth there. Are you strong enough? Type quickly. What? What? Oh. I'm trying to pull the sword from the stone, am I? Oh, I've got to get one. Yeah, I did it. Ta da! I am Arthur! King of the Britons! Right, okay. <laughs> I don't know who made that. Um, they've not put their name on the booth. Uh, volume! This looks interesting. Wow, look at that! How interesting is that? Okay, we've got Implant. Calculators, sync scope, and the DACR. So they're an asset creator by the look of it. So they've not got a game, but um, perhaps they should make a game because that looks really cool. <laughs> um, is that it? No, we haven't. Oh, oh, we'll see. Calev 2005. Um, not advertising anything particular by the look of it. Oh, 10 jumps. There we go. 
again by Atheist SW and Anime Boy. Whoa, Metro Street Racer. This looks cool. Look at that. Good looking car. And we're inside the garage. This is really nice. It's an epic amount of, uh, of racing games all over the United States. Uh, really quite amazing. I like the fact that the, the, the garage door comes up. Right, what we've got here? Legendary Warriors. I don't know who that's by. Are you up for a challenge? Combat game, I'm assuming? And um, we see this one in the middle. Yeah. So where did we come in? <laughs> I don't know which way we came in. Let's see. I end up back in twenty. Mm. I'm not sure. All 34. No, we haven't been in here, so this is it. We're, we're all right. Okay, Orion Cat Tracks. Uh, OCT are Orion Valentine and Black Track Tracks. No, I'm leaving that booth. Right. Uh, because they blocked me, so I can't even listen to that. Right, A Pretty Planet. Hello, world. Flame thrower, plasma ball. Uh, a pretty planet. Um, I don't know who it's by or what it's advertising, but there we go. Some fat bloke 72. Dreams goals. <laughs> uh, It's a bit of a sparse, a sparse one, but I know he makes uh, he makes some nice scenes and, and assets in the Dreamiverse. Right, what have we got? Falkerich. Oh, the MP is a helicopter. Okay. Oh, this is so cool. I wish my MP did that. <laughs> I love it. That's really cool. Get some fish and all sorts of things going on. Interesting. Okay. An ordinary death. Pretty for the yellow community jam. Method actor. Our Mistakes, my latest creation, an original song about the importance of understanding the impact we have on the environment. Well, that's good, so they've got a little sound booth. Imp Who, the mystery imp game. I guess who type game, I guess. The Cacophony of Sleep, everything game. This is really nice. I think what would have been nicer is if it's spun. As you stood here and the, the, these these went round in a circle, that would have been quite cool. But I suppose it would be difficult to read it, I suppose. But yeah, very good. Uh, Wazzy's Odyssey. A game I've been working on, I think it's worth a try. It's, it's, looks like it might be a platformer. Don't know who it's by. <laughs> they didn't put their name on it. Okay. Right the way through we go. All 35. Got some boxes. 
Dear Gorilla King. I can't read that. No bananas in these boxes. There's lots of bananas missing. I have no idea what this is advertising. So, um, it's an intriguing booth, but I don't know who it's by and I don't know what it's advertising. Uh, is Elfiu? Intriguing black box. Wow. Things are happening. Cool. Sound effects from a horror. Et là, tu sais pas ce qu'il me dit? Non, non, maman, regarde. Oui, oui, c'est très bien, Maleloot. Oui. Il me fait. Mais regarde, tu regardes ça là. Bon, vas-y, montre-moi. Euh, Clara, reviens un peu plus près là. Ça, ça va être dangereux. Regarde. Un... Clara, reviens sur le trottoir. Deux... Clara, tu reviens. Ah Clara. Non. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I don't know what this is advertising a particular game or a horror or the fact that they do sound effects or what I don't know interesting intriguing elf you question mark question mark question mark what is that yeah intriguing also very useless because I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for in the dreamverse but anyway um airborne booth welcome to dreamscom got this gold button thing. Not quite sure what this is or who this is. It's by Airborne, presumably. Uh, Gower Gar? Cats? Oh. Looks like they might be a musician. Right. Uh, what's this booth? Ogre's Manifest. By ISK 2K7. Um, this is available in the Dreamverse. I've played it. Um, very, very small text here, but it's a uh, it's an adventure with uh, turn-based combat. Nice spruce, and out we go. Getting near the end now, it's a bit sad to get near the end. It's been a really good dreams come this year. Lots of really exciting booths, lots of interesting things. Hall 36. We've got the Ancient Gardens. Ooh, this is nice. Oh, and we've got a secret. A secret. Half. Afro's music. Very nice. Move top garden and I'm stuck. I can't get down there. Right. Can I get down here? No, obviously not. Looks as if that should have been the stairs, but it's not. Oh, um, I have to go around. Right. Or do I fall through the hole? The Imp Wanderer. Oh, interesting. Okay. No name. No carrot. No uh, creative name there. Flammable penguins. Flammable penguins? Game dev. Two stories from making games. Versifer's Pride. 
Book One of the Vada Makum series, written by D.H. Dhanans, narrated by Jesus Blessing. Blessing. Book Two of the Vada Makum series. And Keru's Ka Chaos. So I don't know whether these are adventure games Aces or blessing. animations or Prime. Um, artworks by flammable penguins. I'm not familiar with flammable penguins, I must say. But anyway, there we go. Um, those childhood summers. Um, that's Brazilo, I think. Uh, virtually dive into 90s nostalgia and experience plenty of good vibes. It will not be out this summer. <laughs> uh, there's a demo out. Because I've played it. Multiple quests. He hasn't put his name on it, but I'm pretty sure that's Pizzillo. Um, Right. D.H. Deeds Hotel. Welcome to the Deeds Hotel booth. Can I assist you? Why are you here? We're here to get into the dream zeitgeist. It's also be a nice rest space. What do you do? A dream that's half game, half hangout space. It's a hotel and resort. They're releasing a commercial. I'm not 100% clear about what this is, but... Um, it's a nice little hotel lobby, anyway. Twitch TV, my summer job. Got a little house here. Can we uh, watch the TV? Apparently not. A mix of video games and movies. Some cool things in their collection. And a toilet, a little house, cookies. The best cookie you have ever had. That's nice. Let's go upstairs. It's amazing how big these booths are. Some of them. Dog. Oh, hey, welcome. I'm uh, probably streaming right now, but uh, if you have any questions, I'll be sure to answer them. I uh, made a few games, but mainly I like to make assets for others to use. Also, I would love to voice act, so if you're interested in uh, having someone voice for you, then feel free to contact me on my Twitch, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Okay. They've got Twitch stream and they make assets. My summer job. I don't know what their name is in dreams. It might be my summer job in dreams. I don't know. House construction animation. There we go. Breaks apart. Um, they haven't left their name on that one. Done. Next, Hall 37. Ghost Ink. I've seen this character all over the Dreamverse. After Nights at Bobby's. It's a horror game with animatronic characters possessed by tormented children. So it's a Five Nights at Freddy's uh, inspired game. Nice little booth there. Little neon. What we got here? Uh, a scene from Egg Lego called Ravine. Inspired by a place in Spain. Oh, it, okay, it's some... Some rocks and trees. Um, but I don't know who made it. It said that in the app 09 did 
vocals, but I don't know who actually made that booth. We've got over here, we've got quite a few trees in this, this hall. Uh, that's all rooms, so I don't want to know what that says. Um, boom shakalaka. Music by uh, Aardvark22. Looks interesting. Some sort of Viking game, I think. But I don't know what it's called because that's like indecipherable. Forests and Adventure. What does it say here? The plot. Welcome to Forest Adventures. Working title Dreamscom Booth. A 2D action adventure puzzle game. By Mick the Madman. Oh, another sword and stone situation. Look. Oh, you got it. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> Looks like it's a, a comedy thing anyway. Looks like fun. Okay, so now we've got overcome infestation, it says. In front of us, we've got a known 289. Okay, Mrs. Stu helped him with the booth. I'm not clear. Um, what they do looks like it might be animation. He was missing so much. Looper two. Um, just in both quizzical questions. Who is Looper two? An animator and artist. His new animation project is called Moonstruck. It is now released. Moonstruck and he's making Moonstruck too. What's the booth there? Uh, Dreamsverse.com. Playable experiences. There seems to be an awful lot of named things in the grass. Ray Cuff or Rakio or I don't know how you pronounce that. Another musician. I think it's difficult for musicians to know what to do visually sometimes for for uh, to represent their uh, their music. There we go. There we are. It's guitar. We have a bouncy, bouncy world here. Bouncy worlds. Oh, we're all very bouncy in here. Um, it's too bouncy to see what this is. <laughs> I don't know who made it. Oh, Bead 28's Bouncy Worlds. Um, I'll be interested to in see the bouncy game. Um, what we got here? Ooh. Grit, a character I'm working on. Who are you? Where's Grit? Has anyone, any of these that you tell me who you are? No. Anyway, they're working on Grit. Inning up 09. Uh, he, he was mentioned earlier on. Um, 
This one's a singer. Takes part in the music jam on a regular basis. Right. So we've seen everything in this hall. Get to the exit. Uh, all thirty nine getting closer and closer to the edge. Right, uh, Tron two four seven, little arcade. Bad Canyon, not available yet. Loblins, demo coming soon. Oh, lots of stuff. Concept art for Justice Rain. Dark Bounty. This is lots of stuff we haven't seen yet. They're working on an awful lot of games at the same time. Maybe it's a good idea if you just work on one. <laughs> Slightly too many games here. Not available yet because probably we should be working on 10 games at the same time. Yeah. It's really easy to start things, it's very hard to finish. <laughs> right, bound survival. Prismatic Gamer, Art by Awesome Face 103 and Tested by Chis149. Interesting. Chisel 49, I'm not sure. What's this? This is a big spaceship? nothing on it to say what it is. It's an interesting uh, display, but I have no idea who made it or what it's representing. An interesting one here. Onslaught, Empire Reborn. Onslaught, Empire Reborn, it's the, F it's the sequel to Onslaught. Nice boost. Right. Another interesting boost. What's this? Lots of stuffed heads. And a creepy looking television. That is a very creepy looking thing. Um, the cabin boost. Some nice assets. I, I'm guessing this is an asset creator, but I don't know who they are and I don't know what this is advertising. Interesting. Cyber life. Cyberpunk theme life sim. Interesting. Graffiti on the walls and everything. Nice booth. Don't know who made it though. And uh, that's it. On to the next hall. And it's the uh, hall 40s, it's the last hall. Uh, we've got Ragnar VE. Open the door and come into the world of Echo. Looks like spooky stuff. Can we go up here? Well, we can, but. Uh, Uh, 
designs and things. Interesting. Dream Chef World Tour. Oh, oh dear. What a shame. Um, they needed uh, something to stand on or something. Oh, there we go. Seen any cool booths yet? Maybe using the X for these things wasn't the best to do because you jump. If you got no control over the character model. to make a cake but uh, anyway don't know who that was by dream chef here we have a black and white random booth here's nothing to explore just another random booth so don't expect anything there we are don't know who made it it's just a random booth oh it's by yard a magnum monster There we go. It's quite nicely done. Right, Curly Tail Comics. Doctor Hoot's Revenge, The Sound of Nature. Vendisaurus Rex. Benji and Martin. Okay, who's next? How about you? Okay, my question is for Martin. When will you get superpowers? Never. Next. Since the last movie didn't have a title, what will the next one be called? Well, I've been suggesting a Wonderbuck movie for a while now, so who knows? <laughs> okay. If you're, if you're familiar with that, that is a, a an animated series. It's a, quite epic. So there's lots of it. And here we have Yonka. Interesting. Two years in the making, an adventure platformer. Puzzle platforming, racing an RC car, and relaxing with some fishing. So I think this is a game that we haven't seen yet. Timer off, but I don't know what it's uh, what it's for. I can hear something ticking away. Hmm, interesting. Well, there you go. I think that's it. I think we've gone through them all. I think that's all 40 halls done. No, there's a hall 41. Okay, they lied to us. They said there was 40 booths. This is 41. Okay. Pirogy Boy. Twitch TV. Mr. Meatball. And the Unit Circle Game. We'll play this booth and bring the colours back. Well, a nice view of dreams come from up here. Oh, Colouring all that in. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm in a secret room. <laughs> So I guess they're advertising a platformer here. That was fun. There we go. So, um... 
I'm a creator without any game. What's your name? Lumber Jeff. Okay. Pet cafe kiosk. Uh, pet cafe is a nice game. Is there a little park? Oh look, you've got a... That is a very big giraffe. Nice animated flat 2D models here for this kiosk. Oh! Ooh, this looks interesting. What's this? Myrtle Von Death. Looks like aliens. So I don't know what the game is they're advertising, or maybe they're just an asset creator. It's really hard to know. It's advertising Myrtle Von Death. Really interesting looking booth. One ton radio. These are music maker makers. And they're selling merch. Very nice. And we have a little disco ball. At Atlanta, the last dragon by Star Dragon. Mm. Cute dragon, look at that. Oh, they're selling plushies. There's a waterfall there. I must say, these booths have been amazing this year. Have we got a 42 that I wasn't aware of? We do! Good gracious me. We're going to be at this forever. Right. There's Toronto Mayor. Hello, Toronto Mayor. Uh, Shaz. There we go. There's a, a, a game platformer, I think. I'm not 100% sure. Um, they haven't left their name, so... I can't say who that is. Tebeef. Um, assets and contraptions using my game Escape. And then we have the elevator game. Box Galactic Battles by Gavin JT, JTA007. Nice looking plane, nice and clear and concise. That Twitch Dreamers, there are a few Twitch Dreamers. I don't think I'm on this list, am I? <laughs> Am I on this list? No. Of course not. No. No, because I'm persona non grata. There we go. Twitch plays dreams. They lied. They lied. There was definitely more than 40. That was 42. <laughs> 43. We're going to have 50. Right, 43. Uh, pixel games. Hello, human. Sure. Just 
just um, an asset creator? I'm not sure. There's a QR code there for those of you who've got uh, phones. Grim Pinata, a fair weather animator and designer. I've been working with talented musicians of dreams, making music videos. Yeah, there's been some really great music videos recently. That looks cool. Jehenna. I don't know if that's the name of the creator or the game. The game. It's the game. Are you brave enough to make your way through the gates of hell? Jehenna is the place of the evil and the dead. Watch the teaser trailer on YouTube by Cody Creation. Cool. Right, what we got? Have we looked at this one? This is Cliff Heights. What is Cliff Heights? It's a puzzle horror game. You are Kenny trying to save your best friend from Cliff Heights. When can I play? There's a demonstration over there. Okay. Right, so I don't know who that's by. We've got a palm tree over here. Assuming you might just walk past that one, but that's actually quite clever. Right, okay, no stat games 2021. Um, that is as simple as it gets. Uh, Z stands for family. Captive Ape presents. Is that Captive Ape or Captive Cape? Captive Ape. They're working on something. Z stands for family. Okay. Right, I'm going to have to have a look and see how many halls we've got because they said there was 40 halls, so I could do 44, 45, 46, 47. Okay, well, we'll keep going. Should have been a separate video if I'd known. They told us there was 40. It says the thing 40. There's more than 40. Right, through we go. From Antigua La Llorona by Quetzal Arts. Dreams Motor Creations, Witchcraft. Oh, we're on a turntable. Gathering Wise, Trip Gathering Wise. This is an animated um, series by Doobface. It's um, based on a, uh, a book. Um, it ha has been published. I've, I've seen it uh, available to buy. Um, so uh, this is a booth with lots of bits and pieces in it. This is Joe 
Joe Eckpot. Um, games Box and Guinea Pig Life. Um, Spirit of Nimbus. We've just got lots of plushies. Again, I know the name. Uh, Why Led Better 10 Studio? Rainy in this booth. And I think we've done this haul. Right, this one. This is going to be a longer video than I intended. Never mind. Right, Carlson. A game with puzzles and parkour by Unknown Dreamer. Right, new now playing from no, Nothingness to Space Whales, Stone Coyote. Another musician, I think. Possibly not. Who knows? Run the steps, Nothing to Space Whales. He is. garden here. Try meditating with my creations by Herzak. Here's Noguchi's bell. Considering how wonderful uh, some sheet film is at animation, I'm a little underwhelmed with that booth, but uh, busy animating I guess. Jacob and Jonas Dimension of Time. This looks nice. Again I don't know if this is a adventure game or an animation but it looks amazing. Uh, Googlen Productions. Isle of Eris. It's like a time travel game of some sort. Create a name there for that one. Four forty six. In twenty ten, I was on a hike that was beyond my skill level and I fell into a ravine and fully dislocated my shoulder. I had no cell phone service. I was alone. A primary mechanic involves collecting items and doing stuff with those items. Why don't you try? So it's something called Survive Escape. Interesting, I don't know who made that. Panya's Palace, a pachyderm protagonist meet and greet by Monbeeb. Panya the Elephant. I wonder what sort of game that is going to be. Bear Story by Triple Fun. Again, I'm not sure what sort of game that is. Zeo Gun by Trix9. Brand new action pack, Girl from Coid and Shoot Map. Ah. Cool. Like Shoot Maps. Some good ones in Dream, especially from Girl from Coiden. Right, what we got here? Spookiness. This is October. I will release a story about the origin origin of the Jack O' Lantern. What's upstairs? Can I get upstairs? <laughs> Uh, we go. Whoa. Ah, oh, look. It's one of those swirly things. Whee! <laughs> cool. 
um, Dreams Fest 2021. Um, somebody just wanted to make a booth by looking at it, but they didn't want to put their name on it. So, oh no, it's Dreams Fest. What am I talking about? Of course. <laughs> This is a festival. Um, it's been run at the moment. You can make um, your own tent for it, put musicians on the stage. Uh, I don't know what state that's in at the moment, but anyway, there's Dreams Fest, run by a few people whose names escape me right now. Right. I have a feeling that might be it now. Is that it now? Here we are. Dreams Podcast. Welcome to the Made in Dreams Podcast Dreamscom booth. I'm your host, Mighty Vicious, joined by my co-host, Jamie James, a.k.a. The Queen's Brew. And each Friday at 3 p.m. on Twitch.tv Mighty Vicious, we bring you interviews with top creators from the Dreamiverse and conversations about the current and future state of dreams. There you are. That's what that is. Panthers Blue, one, two, three. QR code there. Um, if you've seen Glitch R, there was a demo for it. There's everything glitches. Dead Zone Apparations is the sequel to Dead Zone. Um, there's lots of really interesting um, character models that they've re revealed recently with the showcase. So. Uh, that's going to be a third person shooter, I think. Stank Hank? Welcome to Stank Hank's booth. Welcome to Stank Hank's booth. I know. <laughs> there we go. Another musician there. Blue Metal Moon Legend. Some futuristic booth here. I was going to do a showcase of my favourite booths, um, but to be honest, there's too many. There's too many really good booths to just single them out. I might not do that now. So there we are. That was all of the halls. Go back into the Media Molecule Hall while I say goodbye to everyone. I, I think that was amazing. Um, Dreamscom did not disappoint this year at all. Um, that is a wonderful selection of um, booths that people have made for their current creations and their future stuff. Some of this might not actually ever get released. Um, I know how easy it is to start a project and not all projects um, end up being released in Dreams, but um, you have fun while you do it. And. Uh, this has been a really great Dreamscom this year. Lots of things. There's uh, trailers available. Um, I might try and make a compilation of those and see how that goes. But otherwise, um, please uh, view Dreamscom yourself, wander around, and uh, take in all the sites. There are 47 rooms, 47 halls, and there is around about six, six booths per room, six or seven, eight, maybe. Depends on the room. Um, and uh, lots and lots to see. So uh, check it out. Please remember to thumb it up. And if you like this video and you want to see more Dreams content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in Dreams. <laughs>